Filmora just released the latest version, which is the Filmora 12. And in this video, I'm going to show you the new features that you have with the new Filmora 12. Honestly, I've gone through this and it's amazing the ability to have different layouts, 3D tests. You have additional keyframes and in the era of AI tools, the ability for you to use AI to cut out background images without green screen is amazing. And these are some of the things that we are going to look in this video. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So Filmora just made the announcement on Twitter that the Filmora 12 is out. The beta version has been out a couple of days ago and I've been testing it out myself. So I just upgraded to the new version and we are going to go through it together. So if you are coming from the previous versions, 9, 10, and then even the 11, you can upgrade for free depending on the package that you are on for some packages you may have to add additional amount and for others you are able to upgrade it for free i was on the Filmora 11 and i was able to upgrade it for free now if you want to check whether you're able to upgrade it for free or not and to upgrade you can go to help first of all you can check about here to see your current version so i'm currently using the Filmora 12.0.9 and then if you want to upgrade you can go to help check for update and then it is going to check whether you are able to upgrade to firmware 12 or whether you need to pay an extra amount for that so now my firmware is up to date and these are some of the things that has been updated and these are what i'm going to just walk you through right away now the first thing you notice over here is the new appearance and it looks really very beautiful I honestly love the new appearance the whole of it together starting from the tabs to this point the media section and even when you are working on the timeline you'll get to see it later in this video the use of different colors for different things on the timeline is so beautiful you are going to see it later in this video but the first major upgrade that we are going to talk about is the new layout section so in the previous versions you are using just one layout whether you like it or not it was just one layout this time around Filmora has given you five different layouts to choose from. So for any one of them that you're going to choose, you're going to see different layout. For instance, if you click on the default, you're going to see this particular layout. And this resembles kind of the, if you're coming from Premiere Pro or other editing softwares or platforms, this is going to be convenient for you because you're going to have all your files here and then you're going to also have your project information over there. So we try another layout like the organize and it's also quite similar to this one except that it gives you more media space which I personally wouldn't use this because I need more space for my video. So we move on to the short video as well and this comes in very handy when you are using or when you are editing short video because you don't have to use the horizontal workspace for the vertical video so if you're editing short for tiktok real instagram reels and youtube shorts this is going to be a perfect layout for you and of course you have your classic that is kind of the old way if you want to have more space for timeline more space for your video and more less space for the media you are also going to have it that way now, since Filmora provided you with these different layouts and reminding you that if you are coming from Premiere Pro or other softwares, you should be able to work comfortably with this. They also provided you with shortcuts. So when you go to the toolbox over here and you go to the keyboard shortcut, you are going to see different keyboard shortcuts. So when you select this one, for instance, this is Filmora. So these are all the shortcuts that you need when you are working in Filmora. But let's assume that you are very familiar with premiere pro you are coming from premiere pro you can easily switch this to adobe premiere pro and then you are going to be able to use the keyboard shortcut from premiere pro in filmora so when you switch this to adobe premiere pro you click ok and the keyboard shortcut will be just like you are working in premiere pro you also have final cut pro here so if you are coming from final cut pro you can easily just work your way out in filmora without any stress another update is the tab arrangements there has been a lot of changes to the tab arrangements for instance there has been addition of 
templates this has been changed from elements to stickers and a lot of them you can also see that the folders has been redesigned and it looks beautiful the viral appearance is super great filmora did a great job on this one so one thing that they've actually moved from here is you realize that previously you are going to have stock footages that you can use to practice but this time around it has been moved from the media to the stock media so when you come to stock media and then you come to film stock you're going to see your solid color your gradient color your green screen motion graphics and then the footage this footage previously was located at the media section but it has been moved from that to the stock media and then also when you go to the audio section over here a lot has been made to it the appearance has changed a lot Firmware says that they've added tons of new music to the the audio library so you can use all of them for free as well and then if you go to the title as well you're going to have different additional titles that has been added you can see from here that the design for the transitions also has been changed and it looks very beautiful i think they spend a lot of time on the graphics of this one and then the split screen has been added to the template over here so when you open the template you're going to have a lot of templates that you can just download them and make use of it you only need to insert your images your pictures to make the whole video available for you so you can have all of them also here and the split screen has also been moved to the template section now talking about the appearance when i come here for instance and then i drag a video over here you'd realize that this video right over here looks rounded as compared to previous version which was the normal rectangle this looks rounded the next effect that i want us to talk about is the new layer adjustment so previously if you want to make adjustment or color corrections and color grading to this and apply it to all of your footages you'd have to do it for this and probably copy it onto the other ones but this time around with the introduction of the layer adjustment you can easily go to the layer adjustment here select your preset or you can customize one you can drag it on top of your footage so if your footage is shot from the same angle the same time or just a sit down video or something like that you can easily cut out all your footages and after that you can apply one layer adjustment to it which is going to make it a lot more efficient so for instance when you drag your layer adjustment over here you can double click on it and the beauty is that you can do it for transformation animation and even color and i think color is one of the most important things that makes this layer adjustment very great so i have an edited color boost or boost color edited over here so i can apply that on the layer adjustment check out from here so if i turn this one off the whole of it it's gone so i can drag this up to this point and then you can see that when i come to this point i don't have the layer adjustment but then when i drag it you see that it applies to it and i can drag it on top of all my footages it is just as simple as that so now you can create one layer adjustment apply all your color your hue saturation editing on it and then you can apply it to all your footages at once in the past few days ai has been one of the things that is talked about a lot and filmora just tapped into it smartly they just introduced what is called the ai tools over here and if you have a footage and you want to use ai to work out on some of these things you can use the ai tools over here so when you select your footage and you come to the ai tools you can quickly go to the ai portrait over here so first of all let's assume that we want to get rid of the background over here so we can turn on the ai portrait here and look at what we have it just removes the background this is just insane and you can even increase and decrease the thickness so you can increase you can decrease it like this and you can increase it as well this looks very nice this was done without a green screen so this makes it very very powerful so you can also adjust the edge further and all that and if you don't want to use the ai portrait and you want to do it yourself you can use what is known as the smart cutout so when i check the smart cutout over here it is going to give me the click to start smart cutout so i'll click on that and then over here you have your pen or your brush and then you have your eraser as well so you can increase your brush size over here that is if you are if you are painting all over this area so 
something like that you don't have to worry if you go overboard you can use your eraser and then also clear all of the parts that you went overboard but even so you can easily make it out simple by just decreasing your brush size for instance so some around here and then you can drag from top to down indicating that you, don't, you just want to select the entire of this image and see what it does for you now after you're done with this you can just go ahead to this click to start cut out and depending on the length of your video this is going to take time to just do the job for you and notice that it is doing it even whilst it is in motion so it can just easily cut out your background for you and this is amazing now even once it's done you can also increase the edge thickness and then the edge feather if you want to do it like that but i want to just set it to zero so you can set it to zero over here and then you go ahead and you click on save so you see that this looks pretty much like the smart cutout only that this has a, a bit of edges so depending on the background that you are putting here you can just save yourself time and use the ai portrait i'll be making videos step by step how to use all of these features effectively in your video editing so stay tuned and subscribe for more now this ai tools just does the job for you what if you want to do it yourself that is when the introduction of the mask comes in so now you can automatically or you can manually mask out things previously you only had the rectangle the, the circle the hat and then the single parallel lines but this time around you can do it yourself with the aid of the draw mask so by choosing the draw mask you can easily draw around your subject so if you are coming from photoshop this wouldn't be that much of a problem for you so you can easily draw out or mask out just the parts that you want so this gives you more flexibility as compared to the ai which is an automated thing so it does it according to how it wants it with this you have the ball in your hands and then you are going to actually define where you want to mask so you can easily just mask out the attire only here and then you can apply something like a color onto it so only the attire is going to be masked out something like that it's brilliant now if your audio is not that long for you you just have to select your audio and click on the audio stretch over here and now you can just stretch out your video without worries so it's just going to prolong your music for you such that it can fill the entire video for you so you don't have to even worry about short length videos anymore it's super easy to do that and one of my most excited updates in this one is the new 3d test so when you go to your titles you'd realize that a different 3d test has been added so recommended over here you can even search for 3d over here so you can search for 3d so you have this 3d here you can easily drag it onto your timeline and then it auto automatically comes animated but also you can edit it so to edit it you just have to double click on it and then you can change your 3d over here to something like innocent and it's that very simple so you can adjust it scale it and if you don't like the animation you can even go to the animation here and give it a different animation also you have different 3d preset materials that you can apply on this one but all of them you need to download them so when you download it you can easily apply it onto your 3d and it's going to change the look and then the output for it but this time around you have a 3d editable 3d test that you can use in your filmora projects i'll throw more light on this later when i'm talking about test alone in filmora so you see from here that if i apply this 3d see what i have and this this is what i'm going to have so you can apply any of them and it's really really cool to use and the last thing that i'm going to talk about is the export settings so the appearance even affects the export here and i'm talking about this appearance so much because it's really cool to you know make the whole interface very friendly user friendly and very nice to use as well so a couple of things has been added you can now export in higher quality but remember the higher the quality the more the estimated time and then the space it will take so for instance over here if you export at a lower quality you see that the size has decreased and if you export at the recommended settings you realize that the size has increased and that means that if you export at the higher 
settings you are going to also have your size increase and then the duration is also going to take a bit of time also you now have options to export in different bit rates so you can export at a variable bit rate or a constant bit rate this all depends on you so you have more settings and even with that the audio you, you also have your lower and then the higher you can export at any one of these if that is what you want yeah so basically these are some of the new features that is found in the new Filmora 12 and it's really amazing my favorite so far would have to be the appearance the 3d test and then the ai and of course the masking so some those are some great things that has been added to the software and it's really amazing should you download this of course you need to download this because there are so much in it that cannot even be found in the last version of the firmware 11 so i would advise you to upgrade and test it out you are just going to experience a few bugs that is crashes here and there but it's fine it comes with any software when it is released earlier so if you download it early of course you are going to experience a few crashes but it is fine it runs smooth so far it's good so you can go ahead and download it let me know in the comment section if you'd want to see separate videos on all the updates and i'll be glad to bring it out to you guys now to download filmora you just go to the official website of filmora and then you're going to be able to download it over there you can try it out for a few days and if it works out good for you you can buy the premium yeah so that'll be all for this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye